What is up, everybody? Welcome to Walks of Wisdom Wednesday. Uh, today we've got an awesome topic for you, but before we get into it, if you want to see all of the past episodes and get in on these episodes as they are recorded, you can head on over to walksofwisdom.com. It's going to give you all access, um, get you right into the mix here. You'll get to see everything that we've already done. Be first to be involved in the new stuff that comes out. Um, and ask any questions, contribute with the community. There's a lot of awesome stuff going on. So, all right, walksofwisdom.com, that's where you get in. But today, <clears throat> we are going to talk about junk food. <laughs> now, when I say the word junk food, uh, this could change for a lot of different people, depending on what you like. Everybody has different uh, tastes, you know. So, <clears throat> today what we're talking about, though, is why eating junk food is an obligation now, most people would hear that and think, I'm required, I'm required to eat junk food? And the answer to that is no, because that's not what this means. <clears throat> Excuse me, so first off, I need to define obligation. An obligation is things that we do because of the result, okay? These are the things that we have to do for what comes out of doing it. So. We go to work because we have to have a way to earn money and we have to have the money because of a lot of things, right? Or we have to exercise if we want to burn calories or we have to do a lot of things in order to, to get the thing that happens, okay? So you get the idea. So an obligation is the things that we do because of the result. Now, when it comes to eating junk food, <laughs> It's an obligation <clears throat> because we do it for the result. <clears throat> and the result is that it tastes good. That's the idea anyway. And depending on what you decide tastes good, um, there could actually be a, a number of different things that you would discern as junk food. Now, the reason that I bring this up is because tastes are, uh, our sense of taste is very powerful. It's triggering a lot of additional things. Memories, first of all. How many times have you eaten that thing in the past and it brings up those past events? It also triggers hormones. So there are certain rushes of dopamine and certain things inside of your body because there is a feel-good response to eating something that we feel we enjoy. We decide that, okay? And then <clears throat> it also triggers other things like cravings where now that I've had this and I have this sweet taste or whatever it may be junk food wise for you, it triggers that ambition to have more. Okay. Now, all of this is based around the sense of taste and, and where this became just uberly apparent for me, <clears throat> excuse me, is my son got a sinus infection of all things and as part of this his nose was plugged up now when we start talking about sense of taste sense of smell is absolutely linked 100 percent so your ability to smell food actually uh in enables the ability to taste it so that sounds kind of weird and i don't want to get into too much science but if your nose is plugged and you might think of this in the other sense of like, if there's vegetables that you don't want to eat, how did they try to trick you into doing it? Oh, plug your nose and eat them. Well, why would that make any difference? It's still a green bean, right? <laughs> it's because if you can't smell, you can't taste. And so when my son had his sinus infection, <clears throat> he was looking at different foods. And he said, look, I can't taste anything. So there's absolutely no point for me to eat anything unhealthy. He said, I can't taste it. And that's the only reason that I'm actually eating the unhealthy food. Now, another part of eating food is texture. You know, what does it feel like as you're eating it and chewing it and whatever? <clears throat> There's very few foods that we're eating specifically because of the texture. It's sort of a secondary nature where we are going in because of the flavor and the taste and all of those, you know, sense of taste uh, triggers. And we are willing to go through that sense of taste trigger as long as there is also a tolerable texture. Have you ever eaten something 
and you're like, wow, that tasted good, but I don't enjoy eating it. It's probably because the texture wasn't all that good. But almost never are you like, oh, that texture was so good, I don't even care how, good, how bad it tastes. I'm gonna keep eating it for the texture. <laughs> Pretty much never, all right? So if there's a weird texture, you'd more likely get used to that than uh, a bad taste. So at the end of the day, guys, <clears throat> realizing that the decision to eat something unhealthy is a choice because of the taste. And you have to decide, is that taste worth the negative things that come from eating whatever that is? Maybe it's got a lot of sugar. It's probably pretty high in sugar most of the time if we're really going after the taste. It's probably got saturated fats or even trans fats, very unhealthy forms of fats. It probably doesn't have any protein. It probably doesn't have any vitamins or minerals. It probably doesn't have any fiber. So every single thing that's coming out of the, the eating of it, nutritionally, not very good for you. And we know it, you know. We know what good foods are and what non-healthy foods are. And we decide that we're gonna eat them because we, we commit to that memory trigger of all the times we've eaten it in the past. And we commit to that dopamine rush. And we commit to the craving that we're, we know is going to happen. If I eat this, I'm gonna want more. It's like Doritos, bet you can't eat just one, right? Maybe that's Lay's, I don't know, <laughs> one of the chip companies. But that's their title, they're like leveraging this. They're like, hey, if you eat one, you're gonna wanna eat more of them. So realize, you get that choice. You get to decide what is actually worth it. Because the reason that you don't want to eat unhealthy things is probably because you're like sort of interested at least in trying to maintain your health and your body. Okay, and we know that nutrition is at least 70% of the results that you get in your health. So if you're overweight and you have weight to lose, it's probably because you're not eating healthy foods. And so realize that in the moment of eating that unhealthy food, the positive version of the result is going to happen in a matter of seconds. And it will be finished in a matter of seconds. As soon as you swallow the food, the taste sensation starts to go away. Almost instantly. And here's another thing for you guys, and this is another talk I did. You can look it up and check it out. If you want to see it, it's probably in wisdom.com in our podcast episodes. But realizing that you forget very quickly what it is that you ate. And so if you're not going to remember it for very long, and the positive experience you get out of it is gone almost instantly, but those negatives, the bad calorie types and the sugar response with blood insulin and swelling and inflammation, there's a whole bunch of negative stuff that comes down with it. That runs for a long time and it compounds. There's never one time where you eat one Dorito versus eating half a bag of Doritos that you came out and you said, wow, I love the taste of every single one of those Doritos and I remember it in, specifically individual chips no okay you're just you're just repeating the process over and over because oh i did this and i want to have that again and then i want to have that again and then i want to have that again and every one of those little rewards is so microscopic in value that in order to feel like you got any kind of real value out of it you have to eat a bunch very, very rarely do you take one bite of a donut. Yeah, you don't want to waste the rest of that donut and you took a bite out of it so nobody else is going to want it. So you justify why you take the next bite. And then you take the next bite because, oh, I need to and it tastes so good and I don't want to waste it, blah, blah, blah. We aren't satisfied with one taste of something negative. Once we have that something negative that even brings a small amount of positive, we will justify it to the ends of the earth to continue having that. 
and we say that oh one donut doesn't matter it doesn't okay but the amount of calories that are in one donut is probably several hundred it could be a thousand i don't know what kind of donuts you're eating but like i'm out here on a walk right now if i walk for an entire hour i will burn between three and five hundred calories so i've got a i've got to weigh that concept of if my goal is to maintain my health and i do that by burning more calories than i take in that's how you lose weight then i need to be attentive to what kinds of and how many calories i'm eating because it's easier not to eat the calories than it is to burn them if you have one donut and it's 500 calories you got to walk for an hour how full and how satisfied and how nutritionally uh, filled up are you from a donut not very and the positive sweetness that you got from that one donut is gone within a couple of minutes and now you have to go walk for an entire hour to burn off one donut is it worth it that's what it really comes down to for me guys when we do things for the state of obligation we get a minimum one-time result from it okay if we do things with a, a sense of commitment to our goals then we continue to celebrate every step along that path because we know it was the right choice and we get to feel good about it all day long and we wake up tomorrow and we're in better shape than we were yesterday because we did these little steps that avoid the negatives and increase the positives you know instead of eating that donut and going to walk for an hour just to burn the donut off and get back to even right if you just don't eat the donut and you still do the hour walk it's the same amount of effort but now you are 500 calories further towards that that end goal you want of an ideal weight okay so guys realize you're only doing it because you are conditioned to do it from the way that you have experienced it in the past so the next time you want to eat something bad try this plug your nose and eat it don't don't open your nose at all the whole time you're chewing and you may have to like release it just to swallow it's kind of weird to try to swallow with your nose plugged but do that the next time you feel like you want to eat something negative and see if it's worth it see if that texture and see if the little bit of sugar that you may be able to taste or whatever is worth it it probably isn't and so once you can overcome that sense of taste being that factor for commitment then you can really control what it is that you want to start eating so anyways so appreciate you guys definitely let me know um, how this affects you because once you understand that concept of simplicity where not eating the thing over and over enough conditions me to realize that it was never worth it boy you can really start making some big changes in the way that you actually run your nutrition program so again guys i appreciate you thank you very much for hanging out with me a little bit if you have questions on this please leave them in the comments i'm always engaging with everybody that responds to these i really enjoy being able to share some of these simplicities with you because i'm not really teaching you anything I'm getting you to look at things just a little bit differently so it helps influence the way that you make choices in your day because the choices you make who excuse me turn out to be the actions that you take and those are the things that result uh, in the life that you lead all right so let me know if you guys have something on this and again I appreciate you we'll see you next time